Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Welcome to this week's choice, and this week's choice is part two of Quebec's Cruising for Caribou. It is? It is. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm positive. Okay, I was just checking. Sometimes Guys, you know you, you ever have that right. where your wife just spins things around and you're really not sure, even though you are sure, of what you were supposed to say? So who's hunts first? Do you know? Yep, oh. Joe Rush. Oh, really? Our man Joe. His Our first Joe. time ever going up to Canada for, for Caribou. His first muzzleloader hunt. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of firsts. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you know what else you have to remember? Is look for a Mad Dog sticker this week. Not the one that's here on my shirt. Or this one. Don't right. cheat. You gotta look for the sticker. So let's get into Joe's hunt. Yeah, Joe's pretty pumped. I'm surprised they let him in Canada. Spotted a big bull coming. It's a good bull. We had to run up here and get in position. When that bull stops. Yeah, you got it. You smoked him. You smoked him. Right you smoked him. Him. You got it. That's my first, that's my first muzzleloader kill. Yesterday I had a great non-typical in archery range and poof, I misjudged the yardage, shot right over his back. And we just now, George spotted these bulls coming down. We got in position fast. I mean, just real quick, everything happened. In his traditions, just flat out smoked him, just about a hundred yards. My first smoke pole, it's gotta be a caribou and I'm not complaining. George, thank you, friend. Derek, thank you. Thank you, Jake, for getting it all. We had a big one come through, and Jake ended up taking him. And we just couldn't wait any longer on this one because it was already too dark, or getting too dark. Oh, man. Look at the size of that. Terrible. Oh my gosh. Northern Quebec, Arctic Adventures. I'm telling you, what an animal. Smoked them with the traditions, just about 100 yards. Yesterday, <laughs> shot right over the back of a beautiful non-typical with my bow. Jake was bow hunting this morning. Uh, we carried a muzzle loader just in case, and this just wouldn't get in range for him with a bow, so we made the choice. I made my choice of the traditions muzzle loader, and we put him down. Welcome back to the choice. Now, let's join posse member Jake Beam as he goes for his first caribou bowl with his muzzle loader. Cruising for caribou, and Joe just killed one. Derek, our guide, says there's more coming. We got cows coming, and then there's a group with some bulls in it, so we're gonna sit tight. We're hunkering down behind a rock in a good hiding spot. Hopefully, we can get a good bull to walk out. If they, gonna shoot them, if they get to 80.
Ten minutes ago, we had our last group of caribou come through and started raining, so we put on the rain gear. Still hunkered here, hanging out, waiting. We got big bulls on the other side of the lake, and they've just everything's been coming through. As you can see, they've all been coming real close. So we're hoping those big bulls come down. We're gonna let the tradition smoke one. There's our bull. He's getting in the water. Well, as Jake found out, if you don't like the weather in Quebec, wait five minutes, it's gonna change on ya. Oh yeah, we're gonna let him get on bay for a ways, let him clear out of everything else. Good. <laughs> we smoked that sucker. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> we smoked him. <laughs> we have waited and waited and we turned him down and we turned him down. And I've shot the traditions at 200 yards to see how far he drops and off arrests, and I shot him at 20 yards free ant. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, I told you. I shot him there, and there he is. Count the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Look at the fronts and the tops on that sucker. 
I was gonna strangle Derek. I did! When he said, no, we can do better. Big one on the hill. I mean, in your face. Look at that. Holy cow. And the tradition smoked. Wow. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, let's get into Oliver's. Oliver, Oliver Fisher, our Canadian Fisher. posse. Yes. As he goes caribou hunting with his tradition's muzzle loader. You go that way, I'll go this way. Yeah. Keep coming when you say yes. I think we smoked him with this tradition. Come to rest, just right by the water. What a perfect spot. What a perfect spot. Man, this muzzle loader from Traditions just smoked him. Worked perfectly. Shot was about a little, maybe about a little over 100 yards, but man, this is great. Finishes my hunt off here at Arctic Adventures, and I, I want to thank uh, Derek, my guide, and George. George, come on in here for a second. Uh, Steve Ashton from uh, Arctic Adventures and Tourism Quebec and the Quebec Outfitters Federation. Guys, thank you very much. This was a great hunt and I really appreciate it. Well. George, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Now the guys pulled a great one on Oliver. They, they took one of the racks from camp, they put it up there and they come running in and they told him, hey, there's a big bull up there. Come on, let's go put a stock and everything. This is what makes camps so much fun. You guys just rushed back to the camp. There's apparently a couple of bulls over the top of this ridge here. We're going to try to sneak up on them, get, a, get in position for them. Don't know what we're going to find yet, but we're going to see. Right up here. <laughs> you dog, you, you dog. <laughs> Oliver, gotcha. I love you. That's your good buddy. <laughs> oh, I gotta kill you. <laughs> uh, you that go was on. good. That was good. I'm you sitting there stalking. <laughs> I'm sitting there stalking this thing. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, let's join Joe and Jake as they go ptarmigan hunting. Well, we're ptarmigan hunting with Arctic Adventures. We've already killed our caribou. We've caught a few fish. So now we're ptarmigan hunting. What more do you ask for? Huh? 
Oh, for two. That's not the easiest thing to do is run and then shoot. All right, let's keep on going. Get on it. I got mine, Arctic Adventures. Ptarmigan, caribou, trout, beautiful weather, beautiful scenery, great guys. You can't beat it. You can't beat it at all. This is awesome. Hey Jake, do you have a little Labrador in you maybe? Something, I mean, you were flushing those birds so nicely. I was just wondering, it's just a question. Jake just shot his first time again. He had to sprint to get that thing up in the air. These things just don't want to fly, but you talk about a good time. Nothing like back home. Tarmac and Hunting, Arctic Adventures, these things don't like to fly. I've just figured it out. Joe's a pointer, and Jake, you're the flusher. Just like the dogs, you know, when you bird hunt and you got a pointer and then a flusher and... Running, yeah. Another one right beside it. I ain't gonna fly, okay? Ready? Yeah, I'm gonna Another one right next to you. Reload, reload. I got him down. I got him right here. You marked it? I got him, I got him right there. Yeah, I got that one. Nothing better, Arctic Adventure. Yeah, that's the truth. We got 14 caribou with seven guys in just a few days. Tarmigan hunting, doing some fishing. You guys want to come back? Absolutely. <laughs> wow, what a week. Well, really, what, two weeks? Right, this is part two of Cruising for Quebec Caribou. Yep, and we had a blast, and we want to thank Tourism Quebec. Tourism Quebec, because I always say Quebec tourism. Right, no, it's backwards. It's tourism Quebec. That's right, we want to thank Gregory and all of them up there in Quebec for helping us put this whole thing together for our posse and for ourselves. You know, and the big thing to remember is, you know, you, you show we, we show a lot of being up there, and a lot of times the weather could be miserable. You know what I mean? Which things, it is a lot You of could times. lose your luggage. <laughs> Fred, Art, you guys know what we're talking about. But the biggest thing to remember is caribou are a migratory animal. Sometimes they're here, and a lot of times they're not. So you have to go with that attitude saying, you know, maybe we're in or maybe we're not. We had, we had a crew it, go up and, I hunt. mean, they, you know, right. they, they, they actually probably didn't yeah, see hardly. Yeah, person Zendel. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, they, they, but, but that's hunting. That's right. It, it's a hunt. It's not a guarantee. It's a hunt. But, hey. And that's but why we, we also have a lot extra footage that you guys didn't get to see on these two shows. Oh, so it'll come right. out on our new DVD, Cruising yep. for Caribou. Quebec's Cruising for Caribou. That's right. That'll be released here soon. That's right. And if you did happen to spot the Mad Dog sticker somewhere, you need to log on to huntingnet.com slash the choice and let us know a little bit about yourself and tell us where you saw that where you saw that sticker at. And we'll surprise one of you. So yeah. thanks again for making your choice. The choice. See we'll you see next you next week. week.